Uh, hey everybody, this is Zach Rosen from The New Gay. I'm here at the Madison Hotel in Washington, D.C., Capital Trans Pride, with a really funny man. This is Ian Harvey. Ian, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Um, we're just going to start out with some general questions here. Sure. Ian, uh, you're here at Capital Trans Pride. How, um, how is the, and you are a stand-up comedian, how is the uh, Pride comedy circuit been treating you? Uh, it's been great, actually. Um, this is become sort of a summer tradition for me for the last um, many years. Um, I grew up and uh, spent many years in Portland, Maine, and I live in Los Angeles now. Um, my first Pride performance was in Portland, Maine, and then I moved to Los Angeles. And as I began to, you know, travel, um, I uh, started doing more and more sort of summer festivals, queer festivals, um, and. Um, I, I've, I'm about to, after I leave here, I'm going to Nashville, and after Nashville, I'm going to New York. Um, in the fall, I'm going to be doing Charlotte, so it's, I love, and actually this is my first official trans pride, um, so I'm really excited about that. Um, that was my next question, actually. A lot of people, I'm actually a fan of kind of niche prides, I think it serves people better, but a lot of people just hate the fact that there's not just one pride. Like, how do you feel about the necessity of there being a trans pride? separate from Capital Pride? Well, I think that um, for any sort of marginalized, um, I think that for any sort of marginalized community, like originally the, the LGBTQ community as a whole was marginalized um, by the non-queer community, and they were like, screw this, we're gonna have a, you know, a Pride Festival and whatever. And I mean, I know that's not the history exactly. <laughs> but, exactly um, how it started. But it was, but it was like, yeah, it's exactly um, to a T. Um, <laughs> and, 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 that, and that sort of group of people, our family of people, started this sort of um, annual thing. And, um, and for political reasons and for uh, love and family and connection reasons. And I think that now, then, I think the, the trans community has been sort of, um, someone asked me if uh, the trans community was sort of a stepchild of the gay community, uh, of the queer community, and, and uh, I said sometimes I, I think that they are, and not by choice, but by people not, even in the queer community, not understanding trans people, because they're different somehow. And, um, uh, and so I think that there's been a, yet another sort of breakout um, and uh, just like there is, um, there's dyke marches and there's, you know, like what you're saying, the sort of micro um, prides. And I think it's great. I think the more the merrier, the more, let's have more of them. Let's make pride all year long <laughs> for every possible um, sort of denomination in the queer community. I think it's great. So Cool. And your, your stand-up, which is hysterical, I was watching your stuff all morning today, is really trans-focused. And I wonder if you, do you think it's possible, well, two-part question, to divorce, like, being trans from the topic of your comedy, and part two, do you think that um, you have to educate your audience a lot, or they go in um, knowing what a trans uh, comedian? Two, two things. I can't. I feel like I can't do comedy without sort of including the trans subject, and that it, that educating and making people laugh go hand in hand for me. They're really about equal as far as importance, and I tend to write for um, the you know my audience so that they can understand. Um, I started in non-queer comedy clubs. I like to say non-queer because it makes it sound like they're wrong. Um, <laughs> and uh, so I, I, I started in non-queer comedy clubs and uh, in Portland, Maine. So I really felt like in order for people to get me, that I had to write things in a, in a real specific way that they could wrap their heads around. And so I just talk about being trans sort of in a real general way and talk about how I feel about my body. And I think what happens in the end is that if you stick to the feelings of it, then people, everybody in the room tends to identify with feelings. They may not identify with labels and they may not identify with um, words because words are scary if you say transgender or transsexual and people have like sort of preconceived ideas of what that means. And so, but if you just share feelings, then I think people can uh, more often find common ground with that. So that's how I wrote in the beginning. And um, and it, and just sort of, I think it actually sort of fits my Gemini sensibility. Like I really want to explain things in a way that people can understand. So, um, and sometimes over explain them, but hopefully not on stage. Um, so for me, I started that way and it just sort of continued 
um, and I continue to write that way, and that I'm finding that it's not just in non-queer communities that I'm educating, it's in queer communities too, and even in trans communities, that, um, because I think that there's also sort of, um, there's sort of a, even still sort of a separation between F to M's and M to F's, and you know, we may have core sharing feelings, but we don't really know what the other has gone through um, exactly, and so, Although we're brothers and sisters and um, family, I think that there's still even some education going on there too. So maybe a little bit less, and but for the most part, like we all have something to learn from each other. So, and I'm just up there sharing my story. I don't know if I will ever be able to not for that to not be part of my story on stage. Um, I guess maybe if I became, you know, a figure that was. Um, notable enough that people already knew my story, they didn't have to tell that part of my story, that would be great. Um, and but you're I never going to be up there talking about like airplane food. Right, right? well no, actually no, I, I do talk about other things. Um, I do touch on other subjects from time to time, I'm very loosely on politics. Um, I'm not smart enough to be really good at poli <laughs> you know, political jokes mm -hmm. and humor, but, um, but uh, definitely for sure um, you know, it's something, I, it's not the only thing that I write about, so. Okay. Anyway. You're being summoned from the wings. I, I would okay. be able to talk to you about 45 go. minutes. Thanks, Ian Harvey. Stage. Thanks, for, thanks for coming over to chat with me. Cool, take care. Thanks.